So hey guys, what's up? This is Ezekiel, and today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the next Cat 4, the Battle Cats Evolution series. Yeah, so in the last video, we took a look at the Cat Machine, Cat MK1, 2, and 3, and so today we're going to be moving on to the next cat, which is not going to be like another uber or super rare cat or anything like that. It's just going to be a very basic, but uh, at the same time, pretty useful uh, cat in specific scenarios. So the thief cat right here. So let's just get uh, right into it. Moose fast, steals faster. More money earned when defeating an enemy. So it's basically exactly what it is. It's just one of those uh, types of cats that when you uh, use it and it happens to kill an enemy unit on the you know opposing side, you just gain more money uh, upon killing it. So it's nothing super fancy, nothing too crazy special, but it can be pretty useful in, uh, like I said, specific scenarios. So, um, in case you're wondering, here are the abilities, etc, etc. So, again, it's, uh, pretty basic. Not too much to say, though. So let's just move on to the next cat right here. I'm kind of, like, speeding through this just because I really want to show you guys, like, the power, um, that this cat actually possesses, but, um... This part is always still sort of important. But anyways, the next evolution is the Phantom Thief Cat. So moves too fast, still steals the same. So it's funny because he moves faster, but his stealing ratio remains the same. Hmm, guess he's uh, not really improving his skills as he should be. Has a large treasure collection now. More money earned when defeating enemies. So I guess it's sort of like, uh, it's the next step from his, uh, the days of just being a regular thief. Because now he's a Phantom Thief. Um, I thought that he was actually called the Master Thief before, like in uh, a previous update or something, but I guess he changed the name or something. Maybe it was like, maybe it was always called the Phantom Thief, but I'm pretty sure at some point it was called the Master Thief, unless I'm thinking of like another game, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. So, the abilities stay the same, nothing too crazy special. Now, the thing about this cap though, uh, is that it can only hit single units, so it seems kind of sucky if you're fighting like really big crowds of enemies Like if they have a large amount of stickmen, crocodiles, squirrels, anything like that Like, you know, just the basic um, enemy units that the enemy team usually starts off with So obviously this cat's not going to be having a really easy time when it comes to things like that But that's where its true form comes into play Because it gains something that it, uh, it helps with to deal with these types of snares right here So Bandit of Legend, the Gomo cat. The Gomon cat, sorry, the Gomon cat. Yeah, not the Gomon cat. That's, uh, read that wrong. Last seen in old Japan fighting against the Shogun's tyranny. Ooh, that's a bit of a reference right there to some game or movie or something like that, because I actually had, um, I had a GameCube game, not a GameCube, sorry, a Game Boy game that, uh, was about the Shojin tyranny sort of war thing that happened like long long ago But anyways slips extra money out of the enemy's pockets with area attacks. That's the key feature right there air attacks so uh, Versus the first two forms that this cat possesses and it can actually deal with Large crowds of like really weak enemies that it's up against so it's not gonna have the same trouble as it did have in its first two forms but yeah, that's essentially like the main context and information of the cats right here. And so for this example, we're going to start off with the Phantom Thief cat, and I'll use this particular composition right here. Uh, basically, I'm using this particular comp because the first row uh, is just going to give us about four combos, which you will see once the battle starts. And then the bottom, uh, the second row of cats is just uh, relatively expensive cats. So the whole point of using this particular cat, like the Thief cat, and just like money cats in general is that uh, when you have them, the whole point of using them is to help generate your worker cat funds to its highest capability so that you can start summoning like really really powerful cats that usually cost a lot. So we're going to go off here and go straight to the Jingle Bell event sort of thing because you know why not it's the Christmas season. I know it's not like actually Christmas yet but it's like the December season that's what I meant. But uh, we're gonna go straight to the Cat and Snow and this is the two stars not the one star or the three star but uh, I thought that this was like a relatively good uh, spot to do it. So the first uh, cat combo is the increased defense for the uh, cat base. Second combo is a little bit of the knockback effect. Third combo is increasing the worker cat max a little bit. And then the final combo is that again, but just like at a much greater capacity. So um, for this particular thing, I don't think we're actually going to need to use the, uh, the secondary row of cats because we're just going to focus mostly on the thief cat right here. So I'm going to just start off with one thief cat right here. And you can see that even though he can deal with like just single units, he's not doing a terrible job like... Uh here, I can actually work on increasing the, the worker cat level as I spe specified because that's the whole point of using these cats right here. But, uh, you know, this cat, like, in his uh, not true form, he's still pretty good. He's dealing with these guys. There's not, like, uh, a sudden, like, trouble or problems that are arising. So he's slowly but surely pushing his way to the base. But you can kind of see that... Um, you know, while he's not struggling just yet, uh, whenever there's like a long row of like really weak enemies, it kind of he kind of has to take his time because like 
you know, since you can only hit, like, one enemy at a time, it's, it kind of gives the other enemy units behind the first enemy unit a bit of time to actually, like, walk up, then kind of, like, essentially they kind of act like spam cats, like, as you would do, like, when you're spamming the wall cats, so, obviously, the peep cat will have a little bit of difficulty, but as soon as he gets to the base, <laughs> you can see it could be a little bit annoying, because, like, there's just, there's just too many weak units, but now he can start hitting the base, but, unfortunately, this is where it summons these dudes right here, so this is where it's going to become really, um, prominent to actually seeing, uh, the power of this cat right here, so you can see that the cat was kind of annihilated pretty easily because there's just uh, because the sheeps in front uh, were kind of blocking him from the bear, and because he can only attack one sheep at a time, it kind of gives like the other sheeps and pretty much everything else behind it a chance to really strike. So now at this point, um, just before they hit the base, we're gonna try to summon a bunch of these guys and see if they can actually deal with the threat right here. If they can't, then well, it kind of says a lot about. You know, the, the current status of the power of this cat, but if they, if they can, then, well, you'll see later on how much easier or better, whatever you want to call it, the next version is. So, as I'm summing a bunch of these cats, it's kind of problematic because the bear cat, not the bear cat, the bear enemy is able to deal with them relatively easily because, like, one swing and uh, just, like, a group of the thief cats just kind of instantly die, which is a little bit unfortunate. Now, this is where, like, another problem occurs because now there's a bunch of red rhinos and um, it's going to be very unlikely for the thief cats to actually kill um, kill them in t on time uh, before they get to the base right here because, like I said, they only attack single units and since there's a massive crowd of rhinos and sheep together, interesting composition, would never think I'd see that in real life, but uh, because there's just, there's, the group is way too big, the thief cats can't actually deal with them, and so that will lead to the enemies essentially the stronger base, which is, yeah, you know, it's to be expected because, like, what can you expect? Like, if they can only attack one unit at a time, then you're not really going to have a good time regardless, so... But look, like, he, they did a little bit of damage, 83%, not too, too bad, but, um, you know, could have been better. But now, what we're going to do is that we're going to finally use the the next version, the Gomon Cat, and see the difference there. So here we go. And, you know, just like any true form, you know, the stats slightly increase for, like, HP, attack power, etc, etc, so it's not, like, super, super surprising if this cat happens to do more damage and or survive longer, but uh, it's the ability, it's the, it's the area attack that we're looking at right here, along with its already primary ability to gain more money. So let's just do this all over again and see what happens this time. So I'm going to start off with the one Gomon Cat and, uh, you know, I didn't actually take a look at the, the looks of the, the Thief Cat, which is kind of sad, but um, I guess in comparison, you have like sort of, it really does look like just a professional thief right here, guys. It's like the little robe or the scarf thing going on right there, sort of like in the, uh, you know, the really old movies back, back in the day. But, um, wow, as I'm trying to describe its looks right here, you can see that it's having a much easier time, like, plowing through these enemies right here, because the fact that it has the area attack damage, um, even though the enemies can pro can possibly stack up into, like, a somewhat greater line, like right here, it's able to deal with them pretty effectively, so this is ha this is going a lot, a lot faster than it did for the Thief Cat, if you are noticing the difference right there. But now it's so, it's kind of funny, because now we're already here to the bear thing, so I don't really have much time to explain uh, the looks of this guy right here. But you can see this time around, he was able to deal with them a little bit more effectively, but, because, like, before the sheeps were about in this particular area, or this general area, but, uh, because they were, like, really close to the base. But now we're going to start summoning a bunch of these cats and see whether or not they can actually deal with the sheep right here. Actually, a single Gomon cat, believe it or not, is actually strong enough to deal with the sheeps. I didn't even have to, like, it didn't even give a chance for the second Gomon cat to actually arrive to help out, so it sort of shows, like, the difference in power from the thief cat, who could barely take out, who couldn't even take out the sheeps at all, versus a single Gomon cat that could actually do it single-handedly itself. All right, so now the red rhinos are kind of coming in close, but you can see that it's not as like bad as it was before because the Goma cats can actually like somewhat hold their own. And remember, I'm only using the Goma cats here. I haven't even like started using any of the uh, the secondary cats or any other cats to help out. So you can see that, uh, unsurprisingly, they're actually doing pretty well. They took out like the first couple of rhinos, and it should be uh, not too long until they finally take out the last two right here. The, well, the second rhino might be a bit of a trouble because it kind of he's like kind of behind, so it makes it a little bit difficult. But, um, as you can see, we finally maxed out 1,800, or no, 1,800, 18,100, 550. Yeah, there we go. Just, ah, numbers can be somewhat tricky right here. So, again, they're really close to the base right here, but I'm confident that, yeah, so they took out the rhinos, so now it's just a matter of time to actually beat the bear. Um, I could, like, you know, start summoning these guys to kind of speed up the process, but for the sake of, like, just showing off this cat particu in particular and its power and stuff, then I'll just leave it at this. So, you can see that even though they're summoning a bunch of sheep and stuff, uh, with the Gomon cats kind 
kind of like sort of assembled in this fashion it really shouldn't be an issue now so it's just a matter it's just a matter of them like smacking the uh the bear dude with enough of their like uh not coupon things like i know what they're th i know what the thing is I know what they're throwing, what it's called, I just don't, I don't have it right in my mind right now, but um, it's basically with that stuff that they're throwing at him, so you can see that they're able to easily take out the bear, and um, you know what, yeah, I really don't need to use any of these guys, I kind of thought that I would have to, but maybe, well, maybe I'll just, uh, I'll use the Chubahuma just to kind of speed things up right here, so it's not going to be super, super, super long. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you saw the difference in power, so there is a massive difference from the, the Gomon Cat to the Phantom Thief Cat, so if you... If you're looking to get like a really good support cat that can help you max out your worker cat like really really quickly so that you can start something like the really strong dudes later on as the battle continues then uh, I definitely recommend like this this guy right here the Gomon cat because there's other cats sort of like him here I'll actually do this real quick because it's a uh, I guess it's pretty irrelevant to talk about it right here so if I look for it real quick yeah this is the cat that I'm trying to look for so the Gomon cat you got the sashimi cat which is actually just the reindeer fish cat if you're wondering and then you got the the cat cart G so um, these are like the ones that I have so far. I'm guessing that there might be other ones out there that I have yet to unlock But um, out of these three money like uh, Earning cats, let's say then I definitely recommend the Goman cat over these guys because uh, even though so the sashimi cat um, Has the air attack damage as well his attack rate is much slower than that of the Goman cat Plus he's a lot more expensive to summon versus the Goman cat So the Goman cat is just more efficient at like the very start of the battle and then the cat card G he can only do single attacks, plus his attack rate's kind of slow, and he's not, like, necessarily the strongest or the most durable cat, so, um, really just go for the Gomon cat if you are looking to have some sort of cat in your particular team arsenal. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Battlecats videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Woo!